Hello everyone. In this, I'm going to cover a very interesting topic that is how do we perform web and Excel automation in UI path? Well, I think you already as you already may be aware that what exactly is robotic process automation? If you are not aware, then yes, you can uh, learn about uh, RPA from Edureka's website, right? So in this particular webinar, I'm going to cover about the about uh, web and excel automation activities that are there in ui path all right so what is the agenda of this session so in this session i'm going to let you know what is rpa that i will show you how you can download ui path studio okay and then i will cover a bit about what is ui path web automation okay and i will also show you how to use the ui path web automation I will also show you how does UiPath web automation work and I will show you a small hands-on on UiPath web automation. Now let us try to understand what is RPA. Yeah, so RPA stands for robotic process automation. Yeah, so in RPA, what exactly is a robot? Yeah, so in RPA, a robot stands for an entity yeah, in which, so entity which mimics human actions is called as a robot, right? So yeah, so you would have seen different machines. Yeah, but not every machine is that you call that machine as a robot Yeah, so if there is a machine Yeah, which so if there is a machine in which you know that acts or behaves like a human being is the machine that you call as a robot Yeah, so that is how we define a robot Then we have a process. What is a process? Well this definition we all know what is a process We all have been learning about processes since our childhood a process is a sequence of steps leading to a meaningful activity is what we call as a process right that's what a process is and then the third definition is of automation yep what is automation automation is when any task or any action happen yeah, without any yeah human intervention then it is called as automation yep and we combine these three so then it forms robotic process automation okay all right everyone yeah so now that we have learned a very basic difference uh, definition of RPA, yeah, let us try to understand what is UiPath platform. Okay, so UiPath is the top performer tool in across the categories. Yeah. So in, according to the latest 2022 ratings from Forrester, UiPath is the top performing tool. Yeah, and it is the fastest te growing technology company, and it has already grown so much. So in a sense the purpose of these slides is that what you're learning is a is a tool is a technology that has a lot of promises in future yeah, so it would be worth learning this particular program or this particular technology all right so now we will come directly to our topic yeah that is web automation yeah what is web automation see web automation is the task of automating certain task or certain action that i will perform on a website Okay, so I will tell you how you can get UI path. First of all, I'm going to tell you that and then I'm going to show you a quick hands-on on how we can work with that particular Automation, okay, or that particular web automation. So first of all, yeah, you will have to go to cloud.uipath.com UI path is free for learning and training. You will not have to give even a credit even the credit card details All you will require is a simple Gmail account or any other account email account that you have so go to yeah, over here yeah, when you will sign up okay once you will sign up it will ask you for certain details for example your first name last name country and it's going to ask you to give your organization a name okay once you give your organization a name so over here once you have filled in the form you will be able to work with this cloud dot or cloud platform okay once you have created your account you will reach over here yeah, so your account as soon as it is created you will reach this cloud portal We'll wait for this portal to load Yeah, so this is UiPath automation cloud, okay over here you see there is an option to download studio So from here as soon as you click you will be able to download the UiPath studio Okay, so once you click download yeah, you will be able to download the UiPath click download studio and the setup will start downloading okay once the setup starts downloading yeah you simply have to double click that setup click next 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 and that would be about it okay once uipath is installed this is how uipath will look like 
okay so while the ui path launches let us go through further slides what it says okay so what is about automation i have already explained yep so while it installs yeah let me try to talk you through about a bit about edureka's training so see edureka's training is very well and structured training yeah i will give it to you in that yeah it is actually an i would say detailed training yeah, better than you know some hands on or sorry better than some uh, online trainings that you get yeah or self paced learning it's better than that how it is better than the self paced learning uh, it is better because in this you get to ask questions from the trainer right you will get to have a class participation wherein you will get to know the questions from others yeah there are uh, folks who are from say many years of experience right from freshers to those who have a high degree of experience so with their questions and their information you will be able to get a rich experience right so if you take any other training let us say some other online trainings yeah which are kind of self paced learnings over there the challenge will be that you would only know how to work with the tool you will know only about the tool but not about the overall ecosystem all right so here this slide talks that uh, these are the topics that we will cover right so overview of ui path yeah process components and activities uh, pdf automation how do we go about with that app integration recording and scraping yeah orchestrator community addition uh, implementation of re frameworks so on and so forth okay so and there are two hands on project and within every module there are some hands on exercises as well so it will be really an excellent hands on experience yeah that is for sure yes and yes there will be workshop also in between in which you will be allowed to do your demo exercises and the trainer will help you with those exercises okay all right so what is the usage of web application so see web application is used for different tasks so by and large anything and everything that you do on any website is what we can easily do on or on ui path using web automation how does web automation work yeah so web automation works basically i will show you practically see so over here i will create let us say seventh right so this is how ui path looks like now how does web automation work so as it says over here the in path there is a build in recorder right basically it there is a tool which is inbuilt and that tool will quickly allow you to do your automation okay so for example let us say i open this website right and on this website let us say i have to automate the task of logging in into this website okay so how can i do that so i will have to go to ui path studio over here right and over here see there is something called as recorders right so there are recorders yep there are activities yeah activities means nothing but functionality or functions yeah or features or commands and using these commands i can make the process okay so let us say i have to automate the task of automating or opening this website and automatically login in into this website so how can i do that so i will go over here see i will go with web recorder okay over here what it asks i will go for open browser see so i have asked ui path to open this url on its own so this step that i performed as a human being has been captured by ui path then i will go over here on type the empty field com okay then i will go over here and perform a click yep and this has logged in into this website now what i want for example say for example i want to save this data as well right and i want to read this data from this website and save it in an excel file so what i will do i'll go over here i'll go to the copy right i'll go to next and i will select the so ui path is intelligent enough and it automatically identifies yeah, that 
whether it is a table or what so it's automatically telling me whether i want to extract all the data so yes i want to extract all the data right and it gives me a preview over here right of what data i wish to extract okay do i want to extract how many items let's say i want to extract all the items so i will click finish is my data across multiple pages yes see it is over here over here over here right so I'll say yes. My data is spanning across multiple pages. I'll press yes and I'll go over here. Press the next button. Okay. And then I will save and exit. All right. Over here. Yep. I'll use a get password activity. As you saw that the password I had written as native text yeah it was visible so if i have to secure my credentials yeah i can secure it like that yep so i will be able to log in see password right so i will enter the password i will get the data yep and there are a few settings i'm changing here right so these settings what is this timeout so basically what i'm asking uipath is that when you reach the last page yeah, don't wait too long on that page alone okay so move forward after five seconds okay now how do i work with excel in uipath as you can see over here there are many excel commands right so now what do i want to do i want to write data to an excel file okay so i'll use this write range activity see so i'll use this write range activity and over here what i'll do okay here i will choose where i want the file to be saved see so if i go to the desktop yep i choose some file okay i'll say work items data over here sheet name would be let us say items yep here i will write the data because this data table variable see the output of this particular activity yeah so data is stored in the data table this data that is stored in the data table i am going to write over here yep so over here i write the cell address nothing blank in the cell address now i will run my process right and once my process is complete i'll use close window now click indicate on screen log out yep and then close window right obviously i will have to give it some time so that it can close so i'll go over here give a delay of one second okay so one second delay and i will close yeah and i will go over here press run file yep so now i have Yeah, so see, I'm running my automation. Yeah, UiPath is automatically writing the username and the password. Yep, and it will go over here and it will start extracting the data. Right, so this is how we can make things work. Yeah, so this is how we do the web automation yeah so this is the way uipath works get one so this is how we work with ui and web automation in uipath yeah so these are the features that are available in uipath if we want to do web automation right and if we want to say for example over here there are all the features related to excel uh, then there are features related to C 
see web automation see there are so many features related to browser there are features related to windows there are features related to say keyboard mouse and so on and so forth right so as such we have a lot of features a lot of commands which are available over here and using these features and these commands we can work on this thing yeah and that was about our demo all right then thanks everyone thank you